the Book of Change stated, families who perform kind deeds will accumulate fortune which can outlast many generations. Therefore, in order to change a bad life into a good life, we not only have to reform our faults, but also have to practice all forms of kindness and build upon our virtue. Only in this way can we rid ourselves of the karma created in the past. Once our kind practices accumulate, our bad life will naturally turn into a good life. Thus, the practice of changing destiny can be proven. Once there was a family by the name of Yen. Before they agreed to give their daughter in marriage to the man who later became Confucius' father, they looked into the past deeds of the family. After finding the family to be one that practiced kindness and accumulated virtues, the Yen family felt assured that their daughter would be marrying into a family that would be prosperous with outstanding descendants. Sure enough, their daughter later gave birth to Confucius. Confucius had once praised Xun, an emperor of early China, on his filial piety, saying, Due to his great filial piety, Shun and his ancestors will be known and respected by others. His offspring will be prominent for many, many generations. These sayings were later proven true throughout history. Now I will prove to you in these true stories that merits can be attained through performing kind deeds. In Fukien province, there was a prominent man named Rong Yang who held a position in the imperial court as the emperor's teacher. His ancestors were boat people who made a living by helping people cross the river. Once there was a storm which lasted so long that fierce flooding washed away all the people's houses. People, animals and goods were carried down river by the current. Other boaters took advantage of the situation and strove to collect the floating goods. Only Rong Yang's grandfather and great-grandfather took interest in rescuing the drowning people. They did not take any of the goods that floated by. The other boaters all laughed and thought them to be very stupid. Later on, when Rong Yang's father was born, the Yang family gradually became wealthy. One day, a Taoist priest came to the Yang family and said, your ancestors have accumulated a lot of merit. Your offspring should enjoy wealth and prominence. There is a special place where you can build your ancestral tomb. So they followed the Taoist suggestion. Shortly after, Rong Yang was born. Rong Yang passed the imperial examination when he was only 20 years old and later received imperial appointments. The emperor even bestowed his grandfather and great-grandfather with the same imperial honors. His descendants are still very prominent today. So says a proverb, a sense of pity is present in everybody's heart. Zicheng Yang from Chekiang province is another example. Zicheng worked as a member of the clerical staff of the county courthouse. He was a kind, humane and law-abiding man. Once, the county magistrate punished a criminal by beating him until he fell, and his blood spilled out onto the ground. Beat him! Ah, I've been wrong, Your Honor. I've been wrong. Ah, Beat him again! Ah, please. I've been wrong, Beat him. Your Honor. I didn't Beat him! Ah, 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 ah. Beat! 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 Ah, I've been wrong, Your Honor. You cunning fellow. Very daring. Ah, Beat him! Ah, ah, I've been wrong, Your Honor. I didn't do it. Beat him again! Beat him again! Beat! Beat him! Beat! Your Honor, please remain calm. Please stop beating him. It's all right for you to bleed. But how can I not be angry when this person has broken the law? Your Honor, when even those in government positions of prestige and power are corrupted and do not follow the righteous path, 
How can one expect the common people to abide by the laws? Thus, in a case like this, we should be more understanding. Although Zi Cheng came from a very poor family, he never took any bribes. If the prisoners were short of food, he would always take food from his own home, even if it meant going hungry himself. This practice of compassion never ceased, and eventually Zi Cheng had two sons who both became very prominent and held important government positions. Even the descendants of the Yang family remained prominent for a long time as well. So says a proverb, loving all living things is a virtue of heaven. Here is another true story that happened during the Ming dynasty. Once an organization of bandits appeared in Fujian province. The emperor appointed General Xie to lead the imperial army to pacify them. General Xie wanted to make sure that the innocent people were not accidentally killed in the hunt for bandits. So he managed to obtain a list of those who belonged to the organization and commanded that a white flag be given secretly to those who did not belong to the bandits. They were told to place the flag on their door when the imperial army came to town.